Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. The world of farming is changing. From the power and versatility of Steiger and Magnum tractors to the legendary reliability of axial flow combines, Case IH can help you be ready. To learn more, visit caseih.com forward slash be ready. If you want to lower a high pH quickly, there is a way to do it, but how will you accomplish that on your farm? We'll show you in today's Iron Talk. If you want to lower a high pH soil very quickly, you can do it temporarily using elemental sulfur, not any kind of sulfate that you're going to put on, ammonium sulfate, calcium sulfate, no. That's not going to have that impact that you want, but elemental sulfur can. It'll only last a short period of time. So the question is, how are you going to do it? Well, we tried some this fall on our farm in a broadcast spread. We had part of a field that really had a high pH. We wanted to see if we could influence things for a short time into the growing season. So we broadcast spread some elemental sulfur, figuring our roots will get down deeper in the soil where the pH is a little more neutral in a short period of time. That may work for us, we'll find out. That was Brian's idea. Now my idea is to do some banding, and we work with a number of farmers that do use banding right behind the row. That works pretty well, and you don't have to treat so much area, so it's a lower cost to get into that. But again, you're just looking for a temporary result to have that root system in a neutral pH while it's getting established, and then as the roots grow down deeper, of course, hopefully they get into some better soil. So if you're considering fixing a high pH on your farm for just a short period of time, elemental sulfur may do the trick. You can try broadcasting like we're doing, or you can certainly band it and save a little money doing that. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.